Hello, and welcome to this demonstration on using the watertight geometry workflow in ANSYS Fluent. This is in preparation for students in computational fluid dynamics. In this demonstration, we'll apply local sizing to smaller components in the domain, ensure boundary types are correct, and generate a quality poly hex core mesh. To get started, launch ANSYS Fluent. Ensure the dimension is set to 3D and that meshing mode is enabled. For this demonstration, we'll be using the watertight geometry workflow. As the name suggests, it is frequently used for domains that have distinct boundaries and without leakage. Click on Import Geometry. There are advanced options, but the defaults work for many cases. We'll find the file and click Import. We can insert a clipping plane to see the inside of the domain. We can see there are two components, a small cylinder and a plate with three holes. Because of the relative size of these features, different sizing controls should be used to improve the mesh around these features. Under local sizing, we can see these face zone labels. These are geometric selections from SpaceClaim that were specifically grouped and named before saving. If we mouse over them, we can see an outline indicating where they are in the model. We'll click on the cylinder and give it a name. We'll leave the control type as face size. If we zoom in, we can see these small green cubes, which show us how large the target mesh size is. Let's change to 0.18 and hit enter, and press add local sizing. We can add another control. Let's apply it to the holes in the plate. Intuitively, we can expect the flow to change rapidly through the holes, so we'll set a size of 0.05. Finally, we'll apply a size of 0.2 to the plate. Next, we'll switch to the surface mesh. Again, we can see these cubes which show us the size of the elements. Here they represent the maximum and the minimum size. We can see the minimum size is quite small, so we'll change it to 0.3. Next, we'll create the surface mesh. Now we need to describe the geometry. This model contains only the fluid domain without the solid components. We have no internal boundaries, and we don't have any shared topology. Next, we can check the boundary types that were imported into Fluent. These are the same face zone labels as before. Because they have specific names such as walls, inlet, and outlet, associated boundary types have been applied. We can either change them here or later in the actual solver setup. Next, we'll check the region is correctly set to fluid and we'll give it a new name. The final task is to create the volume mesh First, we'll switch from 3 to 5 inflation layers in order to have better resolution at the walls of the components. We'll leave the method as smooth transition. We'll change from polyhedra to polyhexcore. This method fills much of the domain with cubic structures with a polyhedra mesh between the inflation layers and the inner domain. Since the bulk flow will likely have one dominant direction, an inner hexcore mesh may work well. We'll go ahead and create the volume mesh. We can see the mesh refinement around the components from our local controls. We can see our five inflation layers with the inner hex core and outer polyhedra meshes. It's always important to check mesh statistics. Here we see our cell count of 140,000. We can see the maximum skewness is just under 0.8. Skewness is a comparison of the shapes of adjacent cells. Highly skewed cells can decrease accuracy and destabilize the solution. A general rule is that the maximum skewness should be kept below 0.95 with an average significantly lower. Here, we have our minimum orthogonal quality. Orthogonal quality is computed for cells by using the vector from the cell centroid to each of its faces. The worst cells have a quality close to zero, with the best closer to one. The minimum quality for all types of cells should be more than 0.01, with an average that is significantly higher. We can save our mesh by going to File, Write, and Mesh. This concludes our demonstration on meshing in Fluent. Thank you for watching.